Now, getting tough on DUIs. We all know the dangers of driving under the influence, but are state laws doing enough? Rhode Island's top prosecutor says no, telling the penalties here are some of the weakest in New England. But that could change this year thanks to an effort years in the making. Steve Nielsen is here with what he's learned. It's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Well, this month, the Attorney General's office introduced this bill, which would double many of the penalties for a DUI in Rhode Island. It's stalled out in each of the last five years, but supporters tell me this year it could have the momentum to pass. We begin with a suspected DUI crash that sent three people to the hospital. You've seen our coverage. The local man is going to prison for a drunk driving crash that killed one of his passengers. Time and time again. Police say the man behind the wheel was drunk. Deadly crashes at the hands of drunk drivers. It shattered me, broke my world. Jennifer Buckley knows it firsthand. Her cousin Bridget Kelly was killed on Route 1 in South Kingstown. The crash was caused by a man convicted of stealing a car while drunk. It's like it was yesterday for Jennifer. So it was Saturday, December 1st, 2001. It was 50 degree day. It was beautiful. But it ended in heartbreak. You know, if he had just made a different choice, if he had decided not to make every choice that he did that morning, you know, maybe she would still be here. We checked with authorities and on average, 2,600 people are convicted every year in Rhode Island of driving drunk or refusing a breathalyzer. It's an unacceptable act. Eric Creamer is executive director of Rhode Island's chapter of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. His group and the attorney general's office are calling on legislators to up the ante for drunk drivers. It's 100% preventative and uh, the, the sentence should fit the crime. Right now, the state's maximum penalty for being convicted of driving drunk and causing a serious injury is 10 years in prison. This bill would double that to 20 years, add a $10,000 fine, and strip the driver of their license for five years. And for those that kill someone driving drunk, the max sentence would also double from 15 years to 30 with an added $20,000 fine and a loss of license for 10 years. How can you consciously get in the car and do that again? If this had been law of the land in 2001, the man convicted of driving drunk and killing Jennifer's cousin may still be in prison. Instead, he was granted parole in 2014. It really takes people standing up for uh, what they think is correct. And I think that Individuals in our community need to advocate for that piece of legislation to be passed. And coming up new at 6, we dive into something called the Look Back Laws, which crack down on repeat drunk drivers. You'll also hear directly from the Attorney General about why Rhode Island's Look Back is the most lenient in New England. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. And getting tough on DUIs, it's a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Our in-depth coverage continues on Eyewitness News at 6.